Hi, welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show, and we are here at Burger King again to try out the ghost pepper chicken fries and ghost pepper whopper with cheese. <laughs> look at that, scary delicious. That's the ghost all over it. And look at these cool hats too that you get. And then Little Man of Fire has some ghost pepper chicken fries and awesome sauce has a ghost pepper whopper chicken fries as well. Yes, I need my fries. Well, let's yeah. So the ghost pepper chicken fries look like regular chicken fries, but they have some black dots in here. Tell them the story. And they smell a little mischievous. So the story is, we each ordered some chicken fries. Awesome sauce, little man of flair, and I, we ordered the ghost pepper chicken fries. And my camera person, who doesn't like spice as much, ordered the regular chicken fries. But they accidentally gave us all orders of the ghost pepper chicken fries. So, because of their error, we got an extra one as well. So we have a lot of ghost pepper chicken fries, but the camera person was not happy. So, let's try, let's try, let's try and see. My camera person already knows what they taste like, and what would you say, spicy or not? To me, they're spicy, but I'm not, my tolerance is not up. So if you take a big bite, Mm. It stings the tongue. It's a slow build for sure. They're definitely tasty. Like regular chicken fries, just hotter. Alright, now that I've tried one, each kind of building here. Oh, but well, they are delicious. Mmm. Peep level for average person. I don't know, it's still kind of building. Right now, I'd say average person would probably be about a five-ish, maybe six. Yeah. Um, the ghost pepper whopper is good. Sorry but for the crazy it's, background music. It's dark and Well, when you're live in a restaurant, what do you expect? You get some cheeky background music. Look at that ghost. Okay, ghost. Wait, I didn't get the ghost. <laughs> okay, and, and then my the ghost pepper? My ghost pepper chicken. Mm. Right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The orange bun and orange cheese. Ooh, with some crispy bacon. Look at that. It's like for Halloween. These are kind of greenish. This is awesome. I love this. Let's see what they have in there. So it's got orange cheese, possibly ghost pepper cheese. Um, Looks like fried some chips, jalapeno. bacon, I think and those, the sauce is on top. It's I supposed think, to be ghost pepper cheese sauce. I think those green chips are fried jalapeno. They might be. Let's try it. Hopefully they're fried ghost pepper. Mmm. It has a good amount of heat. Good flavor, good Whoppery burger, roast squirrel, you'll bring the flavor. Please, well, G votes some of the music here. Little Man of Fire used to buy big the chicken fries over there. Yeah, fine. Oh, this is so good. He's building on this too. I, my whole ghost I love water. how this is orange for the Halloween season. And the orange cheese, too. Ooh. Even the cheese has some heat. The whole thing has heat. That's the bun. And the bun, too, seems like it has a little heat. Let's try it by itself and see it. Oh, yeah. Does the meat have The whole thing has some spicy. Does the meat have spicy? The meat's just your regular burger, so it doesn't, but pretty much everything in here does. Oh, so good. Average person, maybe like a six or seven. So it would be manageable for almost anybody. Unless you don't have really high spice tolerance at all. Yeah, the same question. You're the camera person. Mm. 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 Off 
some sauce. What did you think about it? It was yummy and delicious. Hot or not? Um, sort of, but not really. Ooh, it gets more heat in the middle where I get all the crispy. Oh, it's probably going to be a South Lake 7. Maybe 8-ish now. It built a little bit. All those crisps in the middle added the heat with everything else. I sort of think from last night when I had the spicy dill pickle jerky, it sort of helped. The mm. Collins, again. So now I'd say we'll do seven or eight. The Whopper definitely carries more heat than the actual chicken fries. Those ghost pepper chicken fries really build up the heat as you need But the flavor on both is absolutely delicious, too. They do taste good. I will finish the burger. <laughs> I probably will snack on the chicken fries off. Because there's so many of them, I got I, eight pieces. So. I would so recommend it. They should remake this next year. But I like the cool year. designs, the scary, delicious. Halo hey, Man Fire. The, the spooky ghost. little guys from Burger King the and the wrapping here. And the ghost chicken on the front. Hey, hey, Mr. Brad, Warden, mm. um, do you recommend these? I do recommend both of them. Me too. Here's my last chicken fry. So if you have a Burger King in the area, Go get these. Get yourself a little crown too. Look, probably the limited edition Halloween edition for the year. BK crown. Hey, will man fire. Do you recommend this? That cheese sauce on here is pretty hot too. All right, here we go. I like the cheese sauce the most. What's your favorite part about the burger? I like the whole thing. It tastes really good. Like one of my favorite hey, parts, talking, I like all of it. <clears throat> you're talking with your mouth open. Mm. I apologize. Some of the fans with the show aren't fans of that. Zoom Zoom Duck from my chicken fries and you're gonna go get a refill. And here's the scary delicious hey, it was. I'm gonna go get a refill. Hey. Scary Delicious is the motto of these. Go definitely and get yourself some. Hey, Dad. Can I go get a refill? You may. Okay. All right, let's say it all. All right, get to Burger King. Get yourself some of these spooky ghost pepper products. They actually have a good burn, like a 7 to 8 for an average person. So it's worth it, and the flavor is definitely worth it. We'll see you next time here on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.